baton on. Where there's smoke, there is fire, and we're underway at the DHL Stadium, courtesy of Dan Edwards, the youngster, gets us going, and the Stormers can't see it through the smoke. Inside. Morgan Williams, away to Smith. Trying to rip it free in the tackle, Ben Loder, Morgan Smith, away to Dan Edwards, he puts a grabber through, a brilliant grabber, well weighted, try to Luke Morgan. What a kick little cross kick and Luke Morgan look what he does beautifully here. he just waits waits takes his time doesn't rush himself and that ball bobbles up for him good skills from Luke Morgan he's just waiting waiting cuts her to Porter quickly down off the top this time Libok hits Dan Duplessis the offload to Similani pops one up to Carlisle's brilliant hands here comes Dan here comes Dan Duplessis Numbers out to the left, desperately calling for the ball is inside center. Watkin, not a knock on, gone backwards according to the referee. Big run there from Williams. Head down and powering forward the Ospreys. They recognize the opportunity they have. Drive for the line and the try is awarded. The Welsh side strikes again. Chalant takes a big hit, driven backwards, does well to offload. Keeping his wits about him. Yeah, thank you. Livock tries for the cross kick, not good enough. Taken by Walsh. Walsh beats the defender. Now there's a man on the outside. The tries on Morgan cutting in. It's going to be a score for the Ospreys. A score for the Ospreys to close out the half. Chalant still trying to send it that way. It's also scrappy from the home team. And now Similani will try to apply some straight lines to the situation. Similani take one defenders. Libok away to under looking for Libok on the loop. Here comes Evan Ross. Straight down the center of the field. He's thundering home for the try. The pick and go from the base from Ben Warren. The Stormers defense is held up solid for the pick and goes so far this match. On the line. Can the Ospreys make it count now? What a crucial score it would be. Another penalty advantage. Twisting around the corner and over the line goes Harry Deves. The youngster gets the job done. Still fighting for this losing bonus point, the Stormers. Two sides okay. so close in their points tally. Just four points separating them on the log coming into this match. The Ospreys will be desperate to keep the Stormers from getting that losing bonus point. Ruben van Heeren with a strong carry as Morgan put on his backside. De Vett plays it to the blind. Chalan trying yeah. to get it away. Yeah, they're going to have to look at this one again. 15, with the try line in front. We need to check. Just wait. Manny, I'm just going just gonna to check to see whether that prevented a probable try. Okay, Chris coming to you. So clear, deliberate knock on and yellow card. We just want to check to see if there's anything more. So there's yeah, no, no cover there's in no behind defend here, at the Chris. back. So Kalant holds his man up. He creates that two and one. That's why he has to stick no, his hand out there. Both of those actions, I think a try has probably scored under. Yeah, so yeah, penalty try against uh, Ospreys. No cover in behind and it's yellow card 15. Agreed. And that's full time. Yes. Not the excitement that the Cape Tonian fans wanted. But the arm extended seven points added to the tally right at the end of the match, earning the Stormers a losing bonus point. What effect might that have? But more imp importantly, what effect might this victory for the Ospreys have?